Good morning. Good morning. You having a good morning? Feels so nice out, doesn't it? Felix. Hi, buddy. Are you having a good morning, too? Kanade, I see you. I see you strolling. Hey, baby girl. Do you want some pets? Hi, Edel. We already said hello. We already said hello. I want to say hi to Absol. Hi, baby. You playing with your toys? Yeah. All right, we're gonna make some festive waffles. I have this mix, Birch Blenders, plant protein, vegan pancake mix. Um, I don't know if it's like my number one favorite waffle mix of all time, slash pancake mix, but it works. I'm probably just gonna make the rest of this, so I'm just gonna figure out how much I have left. That's half a cup. That makes it three-fourths cup. It's like just over three-fourths cup, and, and three-fourths cup is literally what the recipe is. So now I'm gonna do just a little bit more than three-fourths cups of water. Actually not gonna do quite that much in case I need to add more water, because I can't add more mix since I'm out. And then just about a tablespoon of oil. Just eyeball it. And then I'm gonna start mixing it up. I'm still gonna add spices and stuff to it, but I'm gonna mix it up for now. I got this bowl at a TJ Maxx this year, by the way. I'm obsessed with it. These are a little thick, so I'm definitely gonna add some more water. Much better. I like it kind of runny, but not too runny. But I don't want it too thick either. I'm just gonna add a bunch of cinnamon. I'm gonna add some nutmeg. And then I'm gonna add some pumpkin pie spice, which you're probably thinking that literally has cinnamon and nutmeg. What are you doing? Um, it also has cloves and ginger. And I just, I like to add more of this. And then I'm gonna mix that up. And then we will get to baking. I have my two little waffle irons preheating. One is shaped like a pumpkin and one shaped like a spider web. And they are so super cute. I might add a little bit of vanilla, Zane. Do we have vanilla? Yeah. I'm gonna get some vanilla. We do, we have like fancy vanilla. It's simply organic Madagascar vanilla. <laughs> we never have fancy vanilla. I'm just gonna do the teeniest little bit because obviously this is super concentrated. Just a little bit. It smells good. Okay, I'm gonna start baking this now. I'm gonna get a little spoon so I can dish it out. I'm gonna give these guys a little spray with the oil, just so that nothing sticks. And then I find usually it's like, like two good spoonfuls is what kind of fills these pretty perfectly. Oh, the cats are running around like crazy. Sometimes a third. <laughs> I haven't made waffles like this in a little while. It's been like a month and a half. I think I made them when I first decorated in August and I haven't made them since. Just hasn't been the right mood, you know? It's been so hot outside, but it's actually been nice and cool outside lately, but is it because of autumn or is it because of the tropical storms and hurricanes coming? <laughs> Typical Florida. So these are just gonna bake for like two-ish minutes. This light goes off, but that doesn't usually mean it's done. It usually just means I check it and it's not quite done yet. So around two minutes, these will be done. I'm not gonna be able to get that much out of this. Usually I'll make a giant batch and I'll freeze them, but I only had so much mix left. So this will probably only make like maybe six honestly maybe seven not too many and that'll be breakfast for today and maybe like one or two leftovers tomorrow after zane and i eat them today how to light a candle that's like one of the most important parts there we go now i got the vibes going all right these should be done why are you why are you on the top i have my festive spatula from target get out of there cute Look at it, it's a pumpkin. I have my festive plateware as well. Why are you guys hanging out on the top today? Get out of here. I think I actually made that consistency perfect. They're like my favorite texture ever. All right, round two. Yeah, this is not gonna make very many at all. Cute. Last round here. I don't even know if this will make two more. Nope, I think that's our last one. Just five little waffles. Look how cute. So festive. Do you want a pumpkin-y coffee as well? I don't have pumpkin specifically, but I have this Highland Grog from Bones Coffee. I don't even remember what it is, but it goes really good with my pumpkin creamer. Oh, <laughs> uh, which mug do I want? Let's, let's go with the Disney, the Disney Halloween Mickey. I think that'll be cute. 
I'm just gonna do a six ounce cup. And I'm gonna make some creamer too with my frother. I love this thing, this like portable frother. I don't even know what brand it is. We got it off Amazon though and it's wonderful. If I can find it, I'll link it for you. So what I do in here is you can't see it, but there's like three lines. There's like a tall max line, a small max line, and then a small min line. So I'm just gonna take my Chobani oat. Felix really wants some apparently. You might hear him squeaking. And I just fill this to that first line. And then I'm gonna take my non-dairy, <laughs> Felix, <laughs> my non-dairy pumpkin spice latte, almond milk and oat milk creamer, and just top it off there. Felix, you can't have coffee. Babies can't have coffee. So then I just bring it back over here to the actual like part that spins, and then I just press this button and it froths it up nice and fast and warm, and this is already done, so I'm gonna take this back. Creamer is done. Perfect consistency every time. Now, if you thought Felix freaked out over creamer, just wait until I shake this whipped cream. He thinks he is owed whipped cream every time. Just wait for it. <laughs> Felix, you cannot have whipped cream. This is my oat whipped cream from Whole Foods. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Coffee is not for babies. And I have the cutest little jack-o'-lantern stirring coffee spoon from Lively Ghosts. Perfect. And that's my festive little breakfast today. Felix. Hey, buddy. <laughs> You're such a good helper. So are you, Edelin? All right, breakfast is done. I have about 45 minutes until I have to leave for my nail appointment, so I'm going to take a shower, do my skincare, all that good stuff. I did wear sunscreen, obviously, before going on my jog, but I haven't done the full routine yet because I knew I was gonna shower. So I'm gonna do that and then work on my skincare, and then we are heading off to do my nails. Fresh and clean. I just threw on some cozy clothes today. I think this little bralette top is from Blackthorn LA. I just threw on some sweatpants. I feel like today's a lazy kind of day. I did cleanse my face in the shower. I used this one from e.l.f., the oat milk cleanser. I really like this one. I used some of my Pixi Glow Tonic. This is just a reusable cotton round. You can get these literally everywhere now. I don't remember exactly where these ones are from. I actually think my friend got me these as a gift years ago. But I use this toner every morning and every night and I have for years, it's my favorite. I always feel like I have to disclaim too, skincare is so personal, like this is just what I found works for me. I'm not necessarily recommending you do these exact steps. Um, this is just what's worked for me. For my serum today, I wanna use this one from Bubble, the Daydream Tone and Texture Serum with vitamin C and niacinamide. Just have a little bit on my hands here. I'm just gonna work it through the skin, under my neck a little bit. For oil, I wanna use this float on one from Bubble, the Soothing Face Oil. I think Good Molecule and Bubble are my two favorite skincare lines. Oh, I like Pacifica too though. Elf has some good stuff. I like a, a decent amount of brands. <laughs> just gonna kind of press this oil into the skin. For eye cream, I'm gonna use this one from e.l.f., the Holy Hydration Eye Cream. Just gonna scoop out a little bit on my finger. Actually might have been a little bit too much, that's okay. Just massage it all around the eye area. And then for moisturizer, I'm gonna use this one, the Holy Hydration Face Cream. It has SPF 30. So I'm just gonna grab quite a lot of it because you need a good amount for the SPF to actually do its job. I'm not really going outside today. Like I'm gonna leave for my nail appointment, but after that, like I'm gonna be in a dark room all day editing videos. <laughs> so I'm just gonna slather this everywhere. Perfect. I also do feel like just throwing some of these on, the Chill Sesh Hydrating Eye Masks from 4-3 Beauty, because why not? I feel like we're doing kind of a self-care morning. All right, I got two of these. I'm just gonna plop a couple on. I've seen it's a debate on if you're supposed to put them on like this or if you put them on like this. I've tried it both ways. I just like this way better. So that's what I do. I don't care if it's wrong. Cute. I need to brush my teeth now and throw on a lip mask. So that's what I'm gonna do. I wanna finish the last little bit of my coffee first though. I'm gonna use my Holy Grail Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask in Cherry Vanilla. I just threw my cap across the room. Even though it's obviously not overnight, I'm gonna wear it anyway. I wear this mask all the time. 
I just love it. I love the tingle it leaves. I feel like it makes my lips super soft. I'm obsessed with it. Oh, I also did slather my body in this after I got out of the shower, the Hemp's Apple Cinnamon Shortbread Lotion. Just smells like fall and magic and I love it. Just threw on some deodorant and now I'm gonna spray on some perfume just so I smell nice. This is the Juliet Has a Gun, not a perfume. <laughs> smells wonderful and yeah i still have a little bit of time to kill before i need to leave so i'm just gonna let these guys sit for about 10 minutes i'm probably gonna get a jump start on editing and then i'm gonna head to my nail appointment i changed shirts <laughs> i decided to just i didn't want to just like wear a bralette all day as cozy as that is like this is cozier to me wearing like a crew neck so I changed um, <laughs> just in case you're like, uh, excuse me, what happened here? I just, I felt like being extra cozy. So here I am. Um, I will see you at the nail appointment. <laughs> All done. I'm going to paint them when I get home. Sometimes when I know I have a lot of like work to do at home, like a lot of editing, like I do today, um, I get really antsy in the salon. So I'm like, let me just paint them myself at home when I have time to like relax later, which I'll probably paint them now, like right away when I get home and then do some editing while they're drying. Uh, but fresh nails, fresh sharps. I'm gonna head home, paint these, probably just black, I think is what I'm thinking today. Um, and then I'm gonna get some editing done this morning. I ended up just going with this like sparkly, jack o lantern y orange kind of color. It's Leo from KL Polish, which does not exist anymore, but that's what I used. And now it is almost noon, which I think means that the cozy morning routine is over. <laughs> the morning is over. I've just spent the last like, hour and a half painting my nails and working on editing some videos and that is what i'm going to continue to do i'm going to take a little lunch break and then just continue editing all day i think that's pretty much the plan thanks for hanging out this is just basically like my ideal day off morning my work mornings are basically the same except usually a faster breakfast and also filming <laughs> But thank you for hanging out. If you made it to the end of this video, why don't you leave some Halloween related emojis? And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I'm posting every single day in October. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.